Blue Cheekers, and welcome back to Nerdy Chic Universe, a YouTube for all types of nerds. And today, I have a really awesome person in the nerd universe. No ordinary balloon man. Hello. AKA Bruce Carr, and his assistant, Evan Bernardi. Hey. He's with the Shady Type Studios. My name's Evan. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Today we're having an interview with these two. Yeah. So, I how, like the how did you two meet? We met at Omni Expo. Actually, uh, we met actually before then. Yeah, we uh, met at a. Uh, I'm not trying to talk spotlight or anything. We actually met at a filming a commercial for the Grand Brony Gala. He was building a life-size Rainbow Dash, and. Um, Afterwards, I saw he was being a guest at Omni Expo, and I was saying, and I messaged him because we weren't really talking that much when we were doing the commercial. Yeah. And I messaged him saying, "Hey, you see your guest at Omni Expo? That's pretty cool." I mean, we met once before at MegaCon, I believe, but it was only like briefly. I think it was actually like after. But yeah, he said, "Hey, I'm doing a church event on Sunday. Would you like to stop by?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure. I'm cool." And it definitely went pretty well from there, and uh, you know. Years, a few years later, after him doing uh, lots and lots of uh, films uh, for me with the really, really big balloons that I do, um, not only is he becoming uh, one of my favorite, uh, you know, one of my absolute best friends, but he also became a uh, groomsman at my wedding that I just got my ring on. Hey. Uh, how does it feel to be back at Omni Expo doing another convention? Feels pretty good. Uh, this will be my fourth time being a guest. Oh, yeah. Yep, uh, and the first time, uh, my balloon action became viral. It was the first thing I filmed for him, that beautiful Colossal Titan. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Huge, huge fan. If you guys haven't known, uh, he created this huge Colossal Titan during Omni Expo 2014 and crashed the Kyle J. Bear and Matthew Mercer panel. I remember going through that and it happened towards the end. And, Attack Matthew. <laughs> yep. Yep. Matthew and Kyle both absolutely loved it. Yeah, it was amazing. I loved yeah. doing that. It was the first experience. Yeah, and I remember the year after you made other times as well, and Jessica Calvello went nuts. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jesse, I forgot about her. Yeah, she was awesome. Especially when you're going, no, stop judging me. I love it. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I'm like, shut up. And she, and she was in full costume, too. That was oh, the yeah, best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah, was, the only, yeah, she, she was. was the only one who was actually in full cosplay. And on top of that, like, she was in character. Even on stage, it was absolutely amazing. Yes. But I think she's uh, one of the only people I've actually seen uh, cosplay her own character. It's pretty hilarious and awesome. By the way, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure we have a video of that somewhere on the channel, folks. So, uh, you know, just go ahead and look yeah, for that. Check, Watch their video. Yeah, check out our uh, Omni Expo 2015 Attack on Titan cast video. Yeah. yeah, that's our most popular video on our entire channel. Really? Yeah, I remember yeah. them singing, trying to sing the theme song all there. They were like, da 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 what got you inspired to do all the balloon stuff? Like, you know, getting, you know, making them and everything? Well, even though I technically started when I was nine, and that was because of my, uh, my mom's boyfriend at the time uh, showing me I uh, listened to different kinds of balloons, I didn't fully get started with it until I was in college because of this guy named Dave Evans who came to my school and he made balloons that amazed me and showed me that balloons are not just for little kids, you can use them to entertain anybody. And it went very well to what my degree was in and um, so I started really, really getting into it. But I didn't fully start making balloons though you know, for cons and for events of that nature until, uh, you know, uh, until I ended up meeting uh, these two little boys who ended up by like, showing me that it's very much necessary and needed to have people uh, at the uh, at the cons to be able to inspire others and let them know that just because you have any kinds of disorders, never let anybody say that you can make it easy. Of course not. As I believe that even though you're blind, he can do a lot of things. Exactly. And I got a video of him showing you making a penguin. Oh yeah. Sweet. You are awesome. To it's like by the way, if you guys will put that up, we'll like link it over to your channel. Yeah. Sure. Hey. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll put the link up up in the doobly doo. So the doobly doo. <laughs> Everybody knows where the doodly doo is. <laughs> Um, what was the most challenging uh, balloon uh, piece you ever done? Oh, this is going to be fun. Um, <laughs> there's a couple that are definitely up there. One of them is my uh, uh, the balloon room that I made for uh, for the Grand Bernie Gala. That was a challenging one. Really? Yep. Um, another one that was like that also with uh, ponies was uh, me doing the stuff with, uh, uh, his name was Henbane. Um, and he was a uh, he was a re- it was a challenge to do really do same thing with making the uh, uh, making a hippogriff out of balloons. Oh yeah, that was um, making uh, uh, making um, this character from my uh, shadow of the Colossus out of balloons. That was hard. Yep, he was Bowser. Bowser was a challenge. Oh, yeah. um, and Bowser, uh, Bowser actually won us a two thousand dollar cash prize. Oh yeah, Bowser was a fun time. Dang. Oh yeah. Though we also learned the he could, like, hard way. Yeah, you can actually like only see from the side of the shell if he's mapping out Bowser in the shell. This is his bo- Bowser's body, right? And he could only see like out the side of his armpit or shoulder or something. And I learned the hard way that I uh, that the Parliament House is definitely a place to go for uh, for awesome costume contests, but I do not go to Church Street. Ah. Uh, oh yeah. Yep. That was, that was some quick this there. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Oh jeez. Um, uh, what is one thing you don't like, as in, what is one problem that you always face when making creations? Time. Uh, Time is one of the big problems because unlike a lot of other cosplays that are uh, done, uh, that take, you know, you we know, can work on it for months at a time, oh, yeah. um, these have to be, you can plan them out like a month or two in advance and you know I get some uh, some various uh, designs that will show like a miniature of it but with that being said when it comes to the final creation it has to be all done within a uh, small amount of time the longest I can take is about like 50 hours Dang. like I've seen him he doesn't map this out or anything he he like builds it on a whim like I, we, we, we share hotel rooms all the time when our, when we're traveling and example last time we went to Pensacola Paracon and he made a Mandark robot, like Mandark's robot from Dexter's Laboratory. And he, we had to build the, we had to build that thing throughout the night. We went through one giant spherical balloon. Oh yeah. Well, Getting it out of the room was the fun part. Oh, wow. How many balloon uh, balloon containers do you carry? I mean, how much supplies do you carry between conventions? You want to see? I want to chase. Well, show the lift audience. The, lift the thing below. Get lift, get lift down below. Okay, folks. Oh, so you're... Beautiful knees. <laughs> Aren't my okay. knees beautiful? Yep. Wow. Oh, okay. We we still haven't even gotten all, all that. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. That's. Whew. I know <laughs> my knees are beautiful. Dang. Nice. That's. A, that is a lot. <laughs> yep. But that wow. makes sure that everything is there, and I know exactly where it is. Uh, because a lot of times, whenever I just bring the bags, I often get uh, confused and I uh, try gotcha. to find it. But this is nice and organized, and and be like, yay. And it makes that my table actually looks fairly decent now because a lot of times I do not end up having everything be looking I uh, looking uh, the best because I'm so I uh, so flustered with I uh, trying to, to get to everybody. But at the same time, by having everything organized, it makes it much much easier. Yeah, usually has, yeah, usually has like business cards scattered all over the place. Scattered easily, guys. Sometimes he has his, sometimes he has mine. I'm out of mine, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> I remember one. I remember one time we took like the broken shards of the balloons that popped and we scattered them all over the place. I don't remember if that, if that was a good idea or not. Yeah, that's not a good idea usually because uh, usually I do my best to try to uh, pick everything up. Yeah, because of course birds good. Exactly. Uh, we want to make sure yeah, that, that we're uh, environmentally sound. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So if anybody wants to uh, get in contact you with the events, uh, who, who can they uh, ask? Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah, Ghostbusters one of them. Although the one the way that you get in contact with me is you look up by No Ordinary Balloon Man on either Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, or especially my actual website, noordinaryballoonman.com. Uh, we will put links to that in. the links are down below in the doobly doo. <laughs> the doodly doo oh that's I where like the doodly doo is. <laughs> right down below. Oh yeah. And, 
just probably plug myself. Are there any new pro uh, any new balloon creations that you're thinking of? It's actually right before I do that, I plug myself as well. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have I have several YouTube accounts, Shaded Sight Studios, which I barely post on, my YouTube channel, which is Evan Bernardi. The first one by the way was Shaded Sight Studios. The second one was Evan Bernardi. I'm getting all over the place. And I also links down below. Links down below in the doodly doo, and I also do uh, Mystery Brony Theater, which is on Mystery Brony Theaters. Facebook page. I have a. It is exceedingly hilarious. I got Shadeside Studios, the website, shadesidestudios.com, Shadeside Studios, the web, the Facebook page, the Twitter, which also goes for Mystery Brewing Theater, and and is the that, Instagram. I got a lot of stuff. Is that like a Mystery Science Theater with Mystery? Yes. Yeah, it's like with Mystery the Science Theater instead of watching Modern Day, Day My Little Pony. Um, it's just the old time stuff. Watch the old. Oh yeah, from the 1980s. You know, yeah, we're actually doing our it's season something. four. We're actually doing our season four finale right now. I don't know if you yeah. kind of got the signs, but I'm kind of into My Little Pony. I don't know <laughs> oh, yeah. if you could tell or not, but it's it's kind of vague. Yeah. It's like, if it's not obvious, so is she. Yeah, yeah I, I'm, I love My I'm Little Pony. I'm a Pony fan as well, even though, well, the, the time I'm, I'm wearing at the moon is actually a uh, Studio Ghibli one. Mine's purple. Well, it's it's fine. I mean... I I blame you, SF Debris, with your clips of Discord. <laughs> <laughs> Even though John Delancey is still awesome. Yeah, he proves some disc of his Discord balloon. Oh yeah. Yep. Nancy said hi. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, uh, as I asked, uh, any new creations are you thinking of? Absolutely. Um, one of the big ones that we have coming up will be making um, a Zordon out of balloons. Oh. If, if only Ranger Stop could get you guys. I've actually tried contacting them, and I'm confused. You know, I'm always confused. Yeah. Yep. Well, I tried contacting them about press last year, and silence. Well, well, hold on, hold on. Maybe, maybe I can help with that. It's like I'm just going to divert the camera for a second. It's like, guys, look at this. Look at this. Full size Todd. Yes. Actual yes. size Worm Hunt. And, and look. It's Ken in his Digimon Emperor form. Look at this. Look also, at these beautiful balloon sculptures serious. here. See? Seriously, this is the kind of stuff he does. And he can do the, And he can do this for you. Exactly. Yeah, I can film it's it. like point at the camera awesome. and say, I can do it for you. I can do it for you. And I can film it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess that's about it, everybody. Yay. Thanks to these guys. And catch you on the universe side. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Bye, everybody. All right. Bye. All right. Until next time, folks. Bye-bye now.